morning everybody so i'm working at the milking right now just about to get the fourth group over it's a thursday morning so i'm gonna finish up here and then we have some blood samples to take so i like to check the watering troughs and make sure there's no manure in them just notice a little bit on the edge of this one i don't think it really got in but we should dump it out These troughs are the best. Stainless steel, really easy to clean and dump out. We do go through once a week. Megan will brush them out and dump them, clean them up good, but then I'll check them when I milk. I am just loving these clean floors. Look at that. We collect blood samples every week for pregnancy testing. We want to know if a cow is pregnant as soon as possible so that we know uh, if we need to try to breed her again or if she's good to go. So we got these little tubes. They have a vacuum in them. And then I got a two-sided needle and it'll just stick it into the, the vein right in the tail and then we'll be able to collect that blood out of there, fill this tube up. I don't even need to get it full, just partially. 8.59. So it's a two-sided needle. The one side's a normal needle, the other side has this rubber piece on it so that the blood doesn't shoot out until you actually push the tube on and then it'll let the blood through. This one here. We don't have a whole lot happening around here today. Rained some this morning, stopped now. We did have a couple guys show up and install our garage door opener. We had never put an opener on this door, built this shop in 2014. Finally decided to put one in so that we can actually keep our door closed more. Everything just gets so dusty in the shop if you have the door open all summer long, so that's gonna be nice. This afternoon, I wanna get the oil changed in both of those two tractors right there. a little bit so the oil can warm up spreader's still hooked up i guess i could grease this unit too
While I'm letting the last bit drain, I'll get the trash out of this cab. It's always a good time to look inward and consider my diet and choices I'm making. This tractor's done, I guess we'll go get the other one and do the exact same thing. It's nice having two tractors that are pretty similar. This one's a little bit older than the other one, so one series older. They take the same filter, they even have the same drain plug, so it's kind of handy. Two wheel drive's kind of nice for changing oil. We got a lot more space in here. We're going to try our garage door for the first time. So I'm out here in the freestyle barn just checking on the robots. So these scrapers have been working really good. We've had a few different things we've had to replace. We got a good price on them. They're used. It's kind of expected. I was talking to our dealer. Basically everything on these robots can be replaced. It's all parts you can get. So I figured there's no way every single part's going to need replaced still gonna be cheaper than buying brand new units so far it's worked out really well I do have this little foam pad I want to replace on the ultrasound sensor on here I'm just gonna take this one side off and stick it on there seven one nine So I'm up on our bunk now. We've had a little bit of trouble with moldy silage lately. Over on this side, must have been a hole in the plastic. It had been working out pretty good. The entire middle bunk and then starting into this one was really clean. I'd just like to take a pitchfork, clear this all out. I'll throw it on the ground there and then we'll scoop it away. Just making a pile right there. Kind of a slower day today on the farm. I was in the house some with the family. We're actually getting through the mold. It doesn't look as bad back here. That makes me happy. Last week I dug a big section out. And right now we're completely past it. I don't see any mold anymore. See you guys later.